Okay, this next one is about finding slant asymptote. And remember, um, asymptotes are those imaginary boundaries that a graph can never cross. So um, we do have slant asymptotes, which means they would be like diagonals um, on the graph. So in order to find a slant asymptote, all you have to do is actually divide. Um, you can use long division if you'd like. So if we were going to set this up with long division, it would be set up like this. Um, don't remember, you need, don't forget you have to put a placeholder if you're missing any of the descending exponents. So this one would be set up like this if we were doing long division. Um, I prefer to do synthetic division on this one because the synthetic division is quite simple. Um, remember, we're going to change that from a negative 1 because we're going to put it um, as a 0 as opposed to a factor. And then I'll put my coefficients across the top. And we'll synthetically divide. So bring down the first one, then 1 times 1 is 1. Add straight down. 1 times 1 is 1. Add straight down and you get 2. Remember we started here with an x squared. That makes this x, this a constant, and this piece a remainder. When you're looking for slant asymptote, you disregard the remainder. So that slant asymptote is actually just this piece, x plus 1. And that's all you have to do to find a slant asymptote.